another day. Finished it up last night, got rained off. It wasn't a serious amount of rain. It wouldn't, it, it was just enough to stop your bailing. It wasn't enough to hurt anything. These, I can already, there's nothing on them. It's bone dry. And uh, Linda can't pack them when it is drizzling about though, because the bed becomes a bit tacky. The bales don't slide in there quite right. It just doesn't go right. So it's better to just leave them on the field uh, we knew it wasn't going to be a lot of rain, it was just um, a fizzling out weather front that came across. Um, we weren't actually meant to get any, but uh, it doesn't matter, we did get a little bit. And uh, Linda will get these packed up today. She'll just start an hour before the balers, get these mopped up. The balers will then start, got the cheddar back on, got a couple of trailers down here. Bottom end of this field is a little bit um, uh, different type of grass, so we round bailed that. I think the neighbours have that. Uh, the neighbours also have the next two fields on. We're going to be tedding everything through again. Just put her arm in, see what's going on in the row. Yeah. Okay. So it feels just a little bit cold. So we want to fluff that up, get the heat back into it, get it all nice and crispy again. It's just, yeah, it's not good enough to bail right this second. So I am going to fluff that up. We'll just run the tedder through it. You'd, you can do three rows at a time, but you're right on the limit. So I'll just do two rows at a time, up and down. We'll get the rest of these fields set out. Uh, the big bailers come in today in a, in a field up the road there. And uh, yeah, so all going on again. Busy, busy, busy. While we're here, I just want to... When it's all folded up, you can't check every single tether tire. And I've got a puncture there, look. That's annoying. I'm gonna have to change that. That's the tire that's hidden. When it's all folded up, it's hidden away. I'm a little bit miffed with that, if I'm honest. But can't do anything about it. Got to get it changed. Right, I've got to change that tire over, and then uh, we'll get started. Have we got a spare tire on here? Look. So uh, that one comes off. Swap it for that one. That wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be, but uh, we got it done in the end. Uh, it's a good job I had some tools. Had me uh, confused for a minute because there was a bearing on there and there's two bearings in the wheels and there's bearings everywhere. I'm just like, oh my God. Right, anyway, we're done. We can go Ted in now. Uncle Franklin just re rowing up the rows there. Sun's come out now, so everything's gonna be uh, in a much better state. It'll all, uh, it'll all be nice and lovely again. We're gonna head up to the next field, which is in the shooting range area. Now, they're not shooting today, so we're allowed to get in there, sort of got aim to try and make hay between the um, the days that they're shooting, which is, well, we all know, it's a bit trickier than the thing. Linda has already packed up those loose bales already, so they, it looks like that one in nice. What are you doing? You've been driving around with that light on since you got here. I'm very tired like that. You're all tired? <laughs> I was out doing hay 7 o'clock this morning. Oh, was you? Yeah. Oh. So there you go. Daisy on her way? Yeah, 12.30. That's a bit better now, isn't it? Sun's out. They were quite dry, actually. They packed fine. Did they? Yeah. Oh, good. What's this about the cat flap, then? Oh. I got home. I didn't have my, cut, my keys for the house. Hayes was asleep. I was, uh, I was screaming up, that she had the fan on, so she couldn't hear me. So I'm half in the dog flat, and I was stuck in the dog flat. I was screaming up to the, hey, wake up, wake up, let me in. I nearly had to come back to the farm to get the keys. That was not a good time. Uh, when the army are training, there's a, a specialist training bit over there where they practice their shooting. But when they're practicing, you're not allowed anywhere near here. So we, uh, we could only make hay when they're not practicing basically but um, they're not practicing today the hay looks plenty fit enough uh, we're just tedding through it it's a bit of a rough field this one we keep the cows in it once we take them what we need to take the cows will then come in here it's 100 acres uh, it's actually called 100 acre the field's called 100 acre because it's 100 acres and they used to use these fields some of these as target practice for the bombers um, training for world war ii i think um, don't quote me on that one but uh, there's a field next door to this one which they call Target and uh, yeah they used to practice bombing that field um, yeah to practice bombing you know uh, but they would miss 
and there's holes all over this field and uh, all of a sudden you just literally lose a wheel you just disappear um, yeah so you've got to be ready to hit the clutch <laughs> and the brakes <laughs> it always makes some uh, nice uh, feed we usually do it in big bales or round bales and um, yeah you can't do the whole of the field some of the field the further you go that way the uh, the rougher it gets with the uh, bomb holes and stuff like that so the big bale will be in here later on it's the man with the crone i don't know how busy we will be we might get some footage uh see if we can jump on with darren there and uh, but uh, we'll see we'll see what we're doing later and yeah just doing the edge here so i've got to pay attention to what i'm doing go on go on go on come on it's daisy hey Farmer's just up, he's loaded, he's got two loaded for us, so we're gonna head back to the farm, quickly take his tether off, bring another trailer for him. Right there, another 500 on the way home. This is the nicest trailer, I reckon. This is um, it's a Brindley one, but uh, 40 foot hard to. It's nice though, it rides nice, you, you don't feel any of the bumps, the bales always stay put, you know, it's just a nice trailer. So let's see if we can get out of here without smashing anything up. I think we got it, haven't we? It's always good fun. <laughs> I'm, now, Ag and, uh, Ag and Peter and Keithy, they can get these trailers in anywhere. You, are, you can see what they uh, I'm getting the hang of it. I, every year I do it, more and more confident I get. I can, you know, I can take them pretty much most places we've got. Um, there was a couple of places last year. But um, it, it's just practice. You've got to do it. You've just got to keep having a go, keep practicing. And uh, you can actually get in places you, you really don't think you're going to get in. You can get in. You all right? Don't bring any forward for us over there. Not that way, no? No, so we get in. Okay. The trade, uh, yeah, it's the small ones, yeah? A couple of little ones. All right. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. This is Darren. We can't, re we can't forget Darren, can we? What are we doing? Holy moly. How many bales does that do? A lot. How many? Come on, you should know this. Oh, that you should string it up and then count them. We do them as five foot, and then you have eight foot, so it does less, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Well, you do four string for an eight foot, and then it does four foot, but you're doing, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, You've been busy? Mental, Matthew. Especially when he rings up the boss farm, the rings up, oh, can you just do 20 acres? Yeah. More than 20 acres. Just fill it in, mate. you just got to squeeze us in. That's normal. <laughs> this thing's mental. Same one as before, isn't it? Yeah. So it's a it's a four stringer, isn't it? Yeah. Can't cope with six. No. <laughs> what? How come you had a four stringer instead of a six? We can um, command them a bit better. And you do haylage as well, don't you? We do haylage at four foot. Yeah. We do hay as five foot. What's that big gas tank? Is that for the? That's, the, that's for the blower. Yeah. In the back. Fan on the floor, on There's the a compressor on there as well. Yeah, that's a mini compressor for the fan. Yeah. So that compressor runs and builds that tank. Yeah. So oh, that wow. runs off that, it's hydraulically. And then you that little that little fan there that like, runs on the back just keeps the flywheel clean. Well, yeah. Nearly clean. Yeah. And why is it why would it build up? No mate. All the stuff comes that way, does it? Yeah, it just blows it off and just blows whatever dust on that. It doesn't blow it all off, like you can see. No. Like, I just blow it off every day anyway, so yeah. you've got a leaf blow and just blow it off. But it helps with build up of rubbish. Yeah. Build, build, build up, yeah. There goes Uncle Franklin, look. What a legend. <laughs> Don't get many blokes like that nowadays. No. I don't know, how old is he? Is he, is he the same age as the old man? Yeah. They're in their 80s, aren't they? Yeah. Them now. I Unbelievable. Like I feel like I'm 80, man. All the material then goes straight up that chute. Into there, yeah. That, we've got that on there for the, at the moment. Yeah, what's which that? Is an additive, we, we do a bit of alpha alpha. Yeah. So we have an additive tank on the front. Yeah. Which kind of blows it to the back and then just sprays it on there for the alpha alpha to stop any mold or residue going on. I know, yeah. Like silage, they yeah. treat the silage as well. Yeah, just the same. 
Well, I was going to put it on there, but we haven't used it this year because it's been so dry. Yeah. It's only when it's a bit damp, they'd be supposed to spray it, but I left it on, it just built up a little bit there. But... 10724, this is a posh one, posh tractors. We can't afford no tractors like this. Bought one. Huh? Yeah. I suppose it is pretty much. It's an AS. Yeah. That's your barrel length. Yeah. That's your pressures in the bale. You should have got 52, which I've been baling at home with. Yeah. That's your weight. So you one. can put more in a bale more if you want to. More denser if I wanted to. So if you've got, like last time, we had a little bit of a dicky crop last time, didn't we? So we had to slacken them off a bit. Do you remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll put, uh, put bam, uh, that's, blessing them. That's it. And yeah. Uh, yeah, so this time it's bone dry, you know. You yeah, can yeah, cram yeah. it in there if you that's want. That's a moisture. Yeah. That's your PTO revs. Yeah. Uh, that's your in bar, so that's your piss end, and that's in bar. So, okay, exactly. pressure. so if, you, if you go to the manual, that's what down to bar here, and that's your percentage. Okay, yeah. Or just have it in, run it in autos. Yeah. You know. Oh, nice one. Uh, reset zeros, you need to get the right amount of bales to charge farmer plenty of money. Yeah, reset your clock, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I bet you've forgotten that a few times. Yeah. Is, 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 is it's bloody hard to remember. It's, it's all right on your own, which is not so bad. But when no. you come contracting, like we do, a little bit. Frank. Yeah, you got re, you got to remember to reset your counter each time, haven't you? And then I, I made, I, made a, I bought a, a firewire lead to go in the downrest for the cup. So I used to have a screen there, didn't I? Yeah. So oh, I see. You've got to go through your main screen. Through now. The main screen now. And you've got. Oh, I can see. You see your bale coming out the back yeah. there. It's just slow going out here because it's a bit rough. Yeah, so, isn't it? it's in a bad road, you know, it's not, not a massive road, but just tickle about, 10k. Yeah. As long as you've got that not flashing, that, not that. Yeah. Most of it, you've got to keep that going, that's it. If it's flashing that, it means it wants more, does it? Yeah. Yeah. It's like a woman, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> every time, every time. <laughs> no, <I> <laughs> So when would you have your pressure right to the max then? When would you do that? Uh, well, I'd never do mate to be honest. No. Even on straw, it's not worth mackering the stuff up. You know, the no. six stringing boys, they always wamp the pressure up. So they want, you know, less bales and wait for the bales. Yeah. They do it by sell it by the weight. Yeah. And Andrew always sell it by the bale or by the weight. Sometimes sell it by the weight. Yeah. But I always, they always weigh about 250, something like that. See, that's 241, that, that last bale. Oh, it weighs it for you as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's about right. moisture, that's yeah. the moisture, look, that's the percent moisture. Is that about right? Yeah, it's dry, mate. Yeah. What's high on the moisture, 17? Um, yeah. Anything about 50 in it, Yeah, honestly, so, yeah. It's high up bales. What do you do your um, haylage at? What, what moisture is that? 25 to 30. 30 oh, right, max, yeah. 30, 30 max. Yeah. Um, we blew them bales last year and we kept them good. They went out beautiful. Yeah. Um, found... I think that was down to the bale about Matthew, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> well, you did slacken them off, didn't you? You know, there's little things you can do that would just save yourself, aren't they? You know, it's not all about just wrapping. It's not going about as fast as, as you steering, can or doing it. You know. The steering wheel attendant. It's all right. Anybody jump on a baler, you need to know a little yeah. bit about it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm exactly. Not... Um, we've got one down. We had a bloke do some baling in Wiltshire. And uh, he's after seven foot there. So you have to put what you want, so another foot on. So you have to put another bit more on the bale, you know what I mean? Yeah. Alright. You're going to push them over, but that's a fair size weight, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. They need to be a bit longer, though. Yeah. Right. Fresh. And then I want to put the weight up a little bit more, because it's thin stuff. Yeah. I want the farmer coming here, picking up with the gravel and falling out. Right, then, so you're going to pack some more in? And then he will call me a... Uh, sea nice chap. <laughs> right. Um, so you're going to add a bit of wet leg. So, so two five, so say two five six or that. And we we'll just get out and, and get and get do another measurement, and then we go from there. Yeah. And then a bit more pressure. Two five five. I don't want them too heavy. You know what I mean? It's heavy. There we go. The tail going. The baler does travel a bit better on rough ground. It's just twin axle. You have your steering wheel close to your legs, don't you? Well, I've got a belly does it as well. Yeah, he says, I have that. mine like a bus driver. Yeah, you're like, like, you're I, you're I like have it there, like, yeah, but you can see yeah, everything. <laughs> you boys. <laughs> there we go, that's Darren in the bailer. He does not want that in his pickup. I can tell you that. He would be a very unhappy man. That's right. Right, we're going to put the drone up quickly. Uncle Franklin's out there as well. We'll get some footage of these guys doing a bit. That's the bale. Let's feel the strings on there. Yeah, plenty. 
Oh, they're tight, but they're not mental tight. Yeah. That's a hell of a machine. He said that's 12 years old, that machine. Done 120, 130,000 bales. Tidy machine, that. Real nice. They're just so expensive to own one. You, you, I think the farmer was talking about getting one, but they're so expensive. Um, you got to go contracting with them. If you want them, you know, if you want it, you got to go contracting with it. I don't know. And this it time, <laughs> listen. I don't know why he sent me, but uh, let's have a go, shall we? Stuck in stuck in low range. Well, stuck... it was in, so obviously, you've you just got to go here. slow. You just got to go. Well, I will do if I have to. <laughs> stuck in low, put it in high, coming down the drive in our second or third, can't remember. Then dropped out onto the road into fourth. No, no faster than 5k. And this little button here, yeah, it's like a, it's like a splitter again and it works on a solenoid and if, if you accidentally hit it it, um, it doesn't work when it's hot basically so it won't come out so even though we're in high range here it's still got a splitter here so it's still very slow it's, got, it's a creeper box basically yeah basically right so this little tractor has a little habit of uh, if you put it in the creeper box there's a little button on this gear stick and it works a solenoid which activates the gearbox but when it gets hot it won't let you uh, activate it, so you're usually stuck in low range. So what we're going to do is just park this up in uh, a neighbour's field here. Uh, don't worry, they're, uh, they're neighbours of ours. And we'll pick this up, we'll just let it cool down, we'll pick this up later on, and it, it'll be fine. Lynn and Daisy have uh, just finished up. Daisy had a little bit of trouble with the tractor, no issues. Trailer loaded up for us there. 
Uncle Franklin is just rowing up the last of the rows, looks like. They ain't got a lot to do, we'll get this cleared up today. We've got, what have we got? One more field down here to Round Bale tomorrow, I think. And then off to uh, Graham and Martins to do a nice chunk over there. 150 acres, I think, 140 acres, something like that. So we'll get that done. Ah, I'm gonna hook on that one. Drop this one here for Keithy. Keithy's up there on the loader. All right, Carl. Uh, you had a good day? Yeah. How many have you done today? 200. Have you? Yeah. Bloody hell, yeah. Did he show you the wheel? Yeah. 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 What cause is that then, Carl? It was the other side, wasn't it? Yeah, those shiny ones up here. So we had, I think there was two studs that, yeah, these two, they broke, didn't they? Yeah. Is it, what What? what causes that, like a loose? Yeah, if the nut comes undone, Yeah. They, they will snap off, they'll shear them all off at the end. Oh, right. That was a lucky spot then, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it just shows you, cleaning them off, doesn't it, and uh, greasing around, you spot all this, what's going wrong. Yeah, well you've got this, it, haven't you? This bearing from our old yesterday. Oh, yeah. So we probably built up the, I think, Done that. There was a flange on there. That, when that was brand new, the first year. Um, yeah, it's, it's jammed in there. Though. Yeah. It's always been dangling on that outside, isn't it? Yeah. It's been there for since we've had it. Yeah, literally. But it's brand this new. This actually came out. Ah. So we had to go back up the yard, I think, and undo the bolts to get it back in. Yeah. But I just think that was him put these on it. Yeah. Just told him in. Yeah. I did say to him after that first year, you know, you should get that on warranty, really, because. That shouldn't go like that, should they? Yeah, no, it'd be worth it, is it? No, not now. They won't give it your warranty now, will they? Yeah, by the time you go all the way down and fetch it, you yeah. mend it. Yeah. Did you see the old man loaded bales over that fence yesterday? Yeah. So he couldn't get couldn't get trailer in the yeah, field. Yeah, he makes it work. He <laughs> makes it work. Oh no, here comes Keith. Oh. Are you going to do that for tomorrow now? I know, it's all Yeah. I was just saying about it. him and the old man, just remarkable, aren't they? How, how old is your old dad? Do you mind? Oh, he's, he's, 80, oh, he's not, a bit younger. He's, not, he's 80 this time. Yeah. No, next time. Next birthday. Oh, right. He's 80. They're mad, aren't they? They just love it. Oh, he's just miserable. Right? <laughs> Terrible when he ain't out. It's <laughs> rainy days, you know, it's just... Trying to find him something to do always. Yeah. How'd you do? 134. 134? Not too bad. No. Do you have to you have to blow that off every time? Oh, only when I'm finishing off. Yeah. Last day, end of the day. Yeah. Keegan's just picking up the last of the few bales. We want to be out of here tonight because the uh, the army will be training. Charlie's just hooking on a trailer. Going to put some straps on. Ours is over here, and then um, we'll be done here. We've got some round ones to pick up in a field over the way, and we've got one more field left to round bale, and then we'll be done here. That'll be good. Farmer's back at the farm. We'll have a look at the uh, haystack because, uh, yeah, we knit, well, we've, we've filled one of the barns now, so yeah, we're doing all right. It's been um, been pretty relentless for the last seven or eight days, but we're getting there. Cooling down now. Gonna get hot again for the weekend. Gonna be blimmin' 35 degrees. Not what you want. Too hot, that is. All the rest of this field is in a scheme. We come round with a topper uh, later on, late August. We'll top this off, and uh, they have to—they want it three different levels or something in here. So we go in with a topper and uh, top the rest off, and then the cows come and graze this for the rest of the summer. Bulls will be coming out when we get a minute. 150 bales or something, Darren said. So not too bad. Oh, time to go home. We're gonna get hooked on again.